Hi, my name is K.O. Lewis of Lewis Acrylics. I am the artist and the assistant principal at Newton Parish uh, Elementary. My primary focus is contemporary expressionism. And so with the painting, it was a great opportunity, an opportunity that was presented to me almost a year ago. Uh, I got an opportunity to work with uh, some influential people from that group and they sat down with me and pitched the idea of recognizing someone from Owensboro who was a very prominent figure uh, nationally uh, who had an impact on uh, black communities all across the nation. And so it was one of those things that I really wanted to jump on uh, due to the fact that a lot of my work is heavily influenced by uh, black and Amer African American leadership. And so when the opportunity was presented to me, it was presented to me to do a portrait of him as kind of like the jumping launching pad for their project that they wanted to do, uh, which is ultimately to create the Monita Sleet Festival. And so that would be something that is uh, coming into works in the future. Uh, but specifically for this piece, I was kind of given a lot of freedom. Uh, I was told they wanted me to do a portrait, but I didn't want to do just a portrait. I really wanted to honor uh, his work as well as his message that he was creating while going through uh, the, the civil rights movement. And so for me, it was important to capture his work because his work was real time. He had an opportunity to actually participate in the marches, to be within the fight, within the struggle uh, that is known as the civil rights movement today. And so when getting the chance to dive into his story and his works, I, I really learned that he was very close on, hands on with uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and many other prominent figures. A lot of the visuals that we use today come from his um, his, his works and, and the, the, the photos that he was able to capture. And so knowing that and getting a chance to look back on those images, it really resonates uh, with you know the, the history and the perspective of getting a chance to see it uh, real time. And so when creating the piece, I really wanted to choose photos that not only were prominent for him, but also had a close connection to him. And so there were two photos that were utilized within the painting along with Money to Sleet. The photo he won the Pulitzer Prize for, which was the uh, photo of uh, Miss Coretta Scott King and their daughter at Dr. Martin Luther King's funeral. And the other photo is a photo of a woman uh, that is at a Birmingham, Alabama uh, march. And in that march, it is in the middle of a downpour rain, and she is still very hopeful and very, you know, um, 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 focused on the the the, the, the meaning of the movement and, and is, is praying and singing for a better day. And so if you look at the two images, they kind of have a dichotomy of, you know, the positives and the ultimate negative of, you know, that movement itself. And not only are they polar opposites in terms of their feel, but they're definitely polar opposites in terms of their visual aesthetic. And so it was very, it was almost as if it was made uh, to happen that way for me to create the visual and utilize those two photos uh, and, and they fit so well on the, the portrait. And so it was very organic when having the opportunity to create that piece the way I did. Um, so I, I am definitely blessed for that opportunity. And uh, it's an opportunity that has worked out uh, for uh, in, in many ways. Uh, the next steps within this project is that our plan is to have the painting itself travel uh, throughout the various school systems that are locally. And so they were, the painting will have a chance to uh, go into each school and more than likely we'll start from the elementary base and then transition all the way up to the various high schools uh, with the plan to have various resources available so that it can be a teachable moment for uh, the, the, the young people of Owensboro. And so they can learn about someone who had an impact uh, that was beyond this community uh, and an opportunity for us to celebrate one of our own. Um, Monita Sleep being born um, you know, here right in town and we did the unveiling at Max Rose Park. His home actually was right across the street from Max Rose Park. Uh, it no longer stands there today, uh, but it is the place where he grew up. And so that's why that was a very prominent or very important place for us to have the unveiling. Uh, but as the painting transitions through one school to the other, um, hopefully those resources that are uh, divvied out to the schools will, will, will be utilized in a way for students to gain an understanding that there's people that deserve to be celebrated that come from this area and hopefully inspire them in a way to do great things in their lives.